Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be doing ray casting. Uh, so ray casting is a technique used to basically cast a ray and see if we hit anything, right? And you're probably thinking, why? <laughs> why is this so useful? Well, the reason we use ray casts is an example would be in a first person shooter game. When you shoot your gun, what's actually happening behind the scenes is a ray is being casted and depending on whether it hits an enemy or anything like that, we can then execute some code based on that. <clears throat> so let's make a uh, C++ first person project and I'm going to call mine RC for Raycast. But feel free to call it whatever you like. So Raycasting is actually quite simple. This uh, tutorial should only be I would say around 20 minutes, maybe even less than that. Um, actually not that difficult at all. What we're going to do is map some input. So we're going to map raycasting to the R key so that when we press R it does a raycast and then um, you know we'll, uh, we'll do something depending on whether we hit an actor or anything like that. So let's, uh, let's start by mapping the input. So we'll go to project settings and then we'll go to uh, input here and where it says action mappings plus and then just raycast and we're going to map that to the R key like I said so like that R and there we go. Right let's uh, start editing some code. So we'll go into our C++ classes and open up the character. Okay, so in our character, uh, the first thing we're going to do is add a private function called perform raycast. Obviously, it doesn't have to be called perform raycast, but I'm going to call mine perform raycast. And that's not going to take any parameters. Now we can um, make it take parameters if you wanted to, but for now, I'll just declare all of the variables that I need inside of this function. Uh, let's map our raycast function to the R key now. So input component, bind action, raycast, I pressed um, this, and then our function that we made. So a RC character uh, perform raycast. There we go. So everything's all mapped and set up now. All we need to do is implement the function and then we can get started on our raycasting. So void arc character Right, so all the code for performing the raycast is going to be inside of here. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is make an if hit result. So a hit result is what is returned or it's not actually returned, but it is used for storing information about what we hit with our raycast, what angle we hit the raycast on, and stuff like that. Uh, and we're going to declare this on the heap, so we'll say new if hit result. Basically, this is just making a new little space in memory for our hit result, uh, and we need to declare it as a pointer. The reason we're declaring if hit result as a pointer is because we are passing it to a function and the function needs to have access to our hit result so we need to pass it by reference and that's why we use a pointer. If you don't know what passing by reference is um, just google it, it's not too difficult, you should be able to understand it. So the first thing we need is the start trace. This is the point where the um, raycast actually starts from. So get component location, we'll get the location of our camera, and that's going to be the start trace. Then the, um, the forward vector, we're going to say first person character component get forward vector. And then finally we need the end trace. Now it's the, th the thing is, right, is no, um, no raycast goes on forever. Raycasts eventually have a point where they expire. 
they have the end of the trace. So that's what this is, end trace. And this is equal to um, the forward vector. And in this case, I want it to be 1,000 units. Um, if you were doing a melee weapon, you might not want to cast as far. In fact, let's do uh, 5,000. If you're doing a melee weapon, you might only want, say, 250 units. So this is the distance that our uh, ray cast will travel. And then plus start trace. Okay, so... Um, the next thing we need is the uh, collision query parameters. Not going to be using these, but uh, these are quite useful. I may do another video at some point where we use these. But the reason we need to declare these uh, is because we need to pass them to the um, raycast function anyway. So we need to declare them. So query params. And there you go. So now we can um, go ahead and call the raycast. I know we just had to clear a ton of variables, but now we're going to actually use them. So we're going to get the current world, and then we're going to perform a line trace single by channel. Um, line trace single no longer works, so you need to use line trace single by channel. So pass it hit result start trace and trace the collision channel in this case we're going to use ecc visibility visibility there we go uh, and then trace parameters and there you go so we have just casted a ray let's draw a debug line in the case that we hit something, we're going to draw a debug line in the current world, start trace, end trace. So if we hit something, we're going to draw a line so we can see the path that our raycast actually took to hit the object that it has hit. We're going to pass in true um, for this parameter here, and this is persistent lines. So if you pass false, the lines will disappear after a set amount of time. Uh, but since we pass true, the lines will stay there forever. And to draw debug lines, you need to be using the engine library, so include engine.h. Now we can use that. Um, the next thing we're going to do is just add a target, so something that we can actually shoot at. So I'm going to call this target. And in a header file, we will include my target. Or, sorry, what do we call it? Target. Include target.h. Actually, no, we won't, we won't even include target.h. It's not really going to matter. Um, yeah, let's get rid of that. So... We are going to basically say, whatever we've hit, put some text on the screen. Negative one, we'll make it stay on the screen for five seconds. Make it red in color. And then we're going to use the printf function, which is a static function inside of the f string library, or class rather. So if string printf, and then that takes two parameters. So some text. You hit percentage s. So whatever we've hit, um, it's going to say you hit, and then the name of whatever we've hit. Uh, and then the second parameter for printf is whatever you want to replace percentage f with, or percentage s, sorry. Um, so that's going to be hit result actor so the actor that we've had uh, and then get name and that needs a pointer and there we go uh that's really all we need i think so we can compile that now
Um, and we'll just we'll drag target in. And there's nothing there right now, but we'll add a static mesh to it. In fact, let's just add like a uh, let's just add a cube to it. There it is there. So this is our target. It is just a cube, right? Um, so hopefully we should be able to cast a ray at our cube. Let's try it. There you go. So when I press R, it says you hit target one, and it draws a little debug line so we can see the path that we took to hit the target. Um, as you can see, did another one. Uh, they only go so far, um, but I've set mine up so it goes quite far. As you can see, it's I'm, I'm hitting ray cast from all the way back here. But this is essentially how you would do something like a gun. Um, all you would do is ray cast, and then if you've hit an enemy, uh, what you could go ahead and do is um, do some damage to the enemy or something like that, right? So there you go. There's ray casting. It's a topic with uh, a lot of confusion surrounding it. A lot of people that do C++, they have absolutely no idea how to do ray casts. Um, and it's fair enough because there is honestly nothing out there um, on, there's like no tutorials on ray casting with C++, or not many of them anyway that I've seen. Um, so hopefully this clears a lot of things up. If I um, press R up in the sky here, as you can see, nothing's happening because we're not hitting anything. Uh, remember, I only draw the debug line if I actually collided with an actor. So if I hit the actor there, um, now it's it's giving me that line. So anyways, guys, that's debug uh, lines. You know, watch this through a few times, get a good feel for it, and I'll see you in the next video.